Okay, here we are in the kitchen putting the finishing touches on okay. this in the, on this here pineapple upside down cake. So tell me and tell me real quick what okay. we did during commercial break to get yeah. to where we are. Okay, we mixed our wet ingredients, which since we didn't have enough pineapple juice, we added maraschino cherry juice. We mixed that with an egg, dumped it in with our cake mix. After we laborously watched Katie <laughs> stir it. I um, nailed it. <laughs> we finally got it in the pan, so now we're going to let you put it in the microwave. Oh, wait for the microwave. It's a okay. labor, eight minutes. Eight minutes. A labor of love. I don't and cover it or anything. Nope. Just don't like cover this. it or anything. All right. Nope. Going to the microwave, but I get how, eight minutes. Eight minutes. I, Anna, and I love you dearly, but I can't wait eight minutes to try this. Ah. Have you got something you can help me out with here? Well, we can have this one here that Ooh. I made ahead of time. Although nothing is never as good as when it comes directly from the... Boom. Okay. Straight, straight out of the right. straight out microwave? Out of the Bring this over straight here. Out. Okay. All okay. right. This is looking good here. Let me see if I can grab us a couple of plates here real quick. So we Ann, did. why, why you, you told me that you feel like we're kind of letting kids down these days. What is it we can do to make that different, make it better? Well, I know being a woman, I shouldn't be this way, but I kind of put the women's movement down a little bit because even though I've done all the non-traditional jobs around, there's nobody there to give consistency to our children. So our children don't know how to eat. They don't know how to read. They right. don't know how to cook. And when I went to school, I found out that when I started teaching cooking and we started using terms like lowest common denominator, it was like, oh, forget it. I don't do this. I don't do math. Oh. I came in here to cook. And so the big thing was letting them know your math teacher is really important because now we're taking those skills and we're using them in the kitchen. Um, the recipe, which you'll see on mm -hmm. the website, yeah. right. you'll notice where I've written it up, I have bolded certain terms. Those are cooking terms. Ah. But it also surprised me the fact that when I use the term microwave, I use it three times in there as a noun, as a verb, and as an adverb. Uh -huh. And the children have to be able to differentiate the difference between it because we just are microwaving that in, in a, a microwave. microwave safe dish in a microwave. So we use three parts of speech. And it's like, but that's English. We're in cooking class. I'm sorry, but it's all interrelated. It's a well-rounded education. It's a good is. lesson. Very and much thank so. you so much for Very what you so. do because this you is teach great. our kids right. And you make some pretty darn good Microwave upside down, yeah. pineapple upside down cake too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, just in case you would like the recipe, which I'm going to continue chowing down on, all you have to do is send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard in Salisbury, 21801. You can find the recipe, as Ann just mentioned, on our Del Marva Life website, delmarvalife.com. All you have to do is click on what's happening today. Ann, thank you so much. No problem. This is so great, and thank you for all the work that you do. Okay. You're a passionate gal. You are the all best. Right. Thank you so much.